Hey everyone, welcome back to more Jazz Practice. So we are doing practice today. And all we're doing really is just making chords. This is just um, a little bit of practice that we uh, can do to make sure that we know what we're doing. Uh, this is just kind of worksheet practice, but I'm going to do it with you. So that'll be fun. Uh, if you like this series and if this is useful, I do uh, ask that you would hit the subscribe button that would uh, do a lot for me and as well as hit liking on the, uh, the like button on the video. So if you smash both of those, that would be super, super helpful for my channel. And I thank you. Anyway, let's get started. So we got A major seven, super simple, A major seven, no tricks. Just This is just figuring out what notes go in our chord. So we're gonna take our A, we're gonna take our C, E, and G. And if it's a major 7, technically you could do it many ways, but we're going to say, well, it's just a 1-7, right? It's a major 7. So we're going to put this in the key of A major. A major has fat cats go or F, C, G sharp, so all you have to do is put your sharps there. And you're done. That's it. That's it. So as simple as these are, as uh, easy as these are, these should be a culmination of everything we've gone over so far to see if you really can do what you can do. Uh, and what I ask you to do and what I implore you to do is to try to do these on your own. Um, this isn't that difficult. You can either find sheet music online or, you know, just use line paper and draw your lines. Uh, and then just write these chords, any combination, really anything. You could take any root. So you take a root. You take a sharp, a flat, or a natural. You could be completely silly. It doesn't matter. Um, so here's all the different combinations, right? And then you can put a nine or seven. Uh, and then you have different kinds of sevens. You got your dominant seven, which is just the seven. You got your major seven. You got uh, the minor seven. You got your flat five, minor seven, flat five. You got uh, the nines, and then you can sharp the nine. You can flat the nine, that kind of thing, or you keep the nine natural. But you have all these combinations of what you can do. So you can make your own worksheets, right? Uh, and so you can uh, roll dice or something. Uh, make your root, choose one out of seven, right? Roll a six-sided die or an eight-sided die if you have D and D dice or something. Uh, roll a D3 or a D6 and divide by two. Uh, same thing here. What kind of nine do you want? Do you want a nine? Do you want a seven? Set up your own thing. Make your own own chart. What can you do to make your own worksheets? And that's it. Uh, all I've done here is to use uh, treble clef, a little bit of bass clef review, and then the uh, the dreaded treble, or I'm sorry, the dreaded alto clef uh, to make things a little bit interesting. And I might get tripped up. It's been a while since I've worked with it. Uh, but, you know, that's part of the fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our C sharp minor nine. All we have to do is say make C sharp minor, C sharp minor. Add our seven, which is going to be a minor seven, and this is a minor seven naturally. C sharp to B is the minor, the minor seventh. We're going to add our nine on top, and in the key of C sharp major, that should be sharp as well. Um, and there you go. It's just this simple. If you know your keys, if you know your intervals, it's really simple to make these. Uh, and there's a million ways you could make these. You know, you could put a C there. Technically, you want C on the bottom, but you could throw the E on top. You could put the D sharp here, that kind of thing. And you could make more of a cluster chord thing. You can throw the uh, the G on top up here, that kind of thing. So maybe, I'm uh, sorry, maybe move this over. And you put the G up here, that kind of thing. And technically, I think we're missing E, G, we're missing the B. Technically, right now, this is still, I think I'm missing a sharp. I need C, <laughs> I need C sharp. Uh, and the G sharp, there you go. Uh, so technically, this is the same chord. If you wrote this, this is absolutely fine. You're figuring out what notes go in the chord. If you wrote this, this is also a correct answer. Um, if you really, really go crazy, you can draw your C down here. <laughs> you can you can say, well, I want a really low root. Or, you know, just use this bass here and say, well, my C lives down there. Uh, it's kind of like Bob Ross, whatever makes you happy in your little special world. Okay, so F minor 7 flat 5, we have our F. A, C, E. I like to draw the notes out sometimes first. Uh, well, let's see. We're going to make minor 7. So this is going to be our minor 7. And then we're going to flat our 5th. That's it. 1, 3, 5. You flat the 5th. And there you go. F minor 7, flat 5. F minor 7, flat 5. G flat, flat 9. That's kind of fun. G flat, flat 9. If you have the 9, just like over here, if you have the 9, uh, you're automatically going to have a 7th in there. You're automatically going to have a 7. So a G flat, if we have no other quality of, of uh, 7th chord, there's no major, there's no minor, there's no flat 5-ish thing going on, there's no crazy stuff, we're going to assume it's a G flat dominant 7. G flat dominant 7, which is super easy because G, G dominant 7 looks like this with no sharps or flats. So if you make G flat dominant 7, all you have to do is flat everything. So super simple. Uh, and then you're going to put your 9 on top, which in the key of G, your, your 9 or your 2 is A flat, 
right? Because you need a whole step. And we're just going to flat that again to get that flat in the 9. Again, this is normal 9. And then we're going to flat it. That's it. So G, B, G flat, B flat, D flat, uh, F flat, and then A double flats. And again, this is just practice. Will you ever see this? Maybe not. That's kind of crazy to see, right? And you have to think double flats and all, but you could. And if you do, then you'll be ready for it. If you can do the silly, the if you can do the silly stuff, then the uh, the easy stuff is super easy. Uh, and you don't sweat. You don't sweat when you see stuff like this. You're like, Psh, I can do that in my sleep. This is the stuff we have nightmares on, maybe. Or until that becomes easy, and then you make up your own. Like, gee, let's go triple flat, uh, major seven, major nine. Major sharp nine, right? Do something crazy like that. Make something really, really weird. That will totally work. You can figure out the notes, and you're, I mean, you're sadistic by putting this in already. But the fact is, it would work, and you could do it. And you could figure out the notes. Okay, speaking of Gs. Okay, so we got G sharp seven. So super easy, G sharp seven. Uh, all we have to do is make G dominant seven and sharp everything. Just like that. Um, and if this goes a little too quick, maybe go back and review. Or if you have a quick question, go ahead and ask in the in the comments. That will be easy. We'll get back to you. Uh, myself and the rest of the community probably will answer your question without without hesitation. Um, B flat. We got a sharp nine, so we need B flat dominant seven plus a uh, sharp nine on top. So we have our B flat dominant nine. Uh, I'm sorry, B flat dominant seven, and then we got a sharp R9. In the key of B flat, we have a natural C, but we do have to sharp that bad boy. So we got the B flat sharp nine, just like that. Just like that. We got E9. Again, we have our E dominant seven. We're working with, uh, I think that's the wrong blue. I got like two similar blues. We got, I keep thinking we're in, I'm double checking. I, keep, I just thought we were in trouble. Uh, okay, if you think you're in trouble, you're in trouble. Uh, so we got a E9. All we have to do is make E major make our E dominant, and then add a 9 on top. And in the key of E, our 9 is naturally sharp. Uh, you have E F sharp it's for that 9. Again, if this was sharp 9, you would have to double sharp this note, of course. If this is flat 9, if this is flat 9, you would get rid of this and make it natural. And if you really wanted to, you could put parentheses or whatever makes you happy. You know. Okay, but we have E9, so it looks like that. Uh, double checking. Yeah. E, G sharp, B, and... D. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we got A. We got A flat major sharp nine. A flat, there's our A because we're in base. A sharp major flat nine. A flat major. So we got A flat major. Looks like that. We got our seventh on top. That looks like that. We're making it major seven. So we have uh, our major seventh right there with A flat to G. And then we sharp our nine in the key of a flat B is normally flatted, so we have to put a sharp on that. Sharp plus a flat equals a natural. If you really, really want to put the natural, you can, or you don't, just leave it off. Either way. I'm going to put the natural there just in case you need it. Just in case you need it. It'll live right there. Uh, now we're moving on to uh, we're moving on to the alto clef. I'm a little, a little scared on this one, but I should be okay. This is F, if I remember correctly. I will have to count, I'm sure. Uh, D, F. I don't use this very often. Anyway, again, you just write your notes. We got a ninth, so I'm going to write nine. Uh, we got D sharp major, so D sharp major. I'm sorry, D sharp minor. So D sharp minor looks like this. D sharp, uh, F sharp, A sharp. Still skeptical on my skills here. We're going to make our uh, minor nine. So D sharp to C sharp is a minor seven. So that's our minor seven. The nine on top in the key of D is E sharp. D sharp is E sharp. And then we're simply going to flat our five. Flat our five. So you get rid of this, you throw a natural sign there, and you're good to go. Man, if I if I stumble over these, you guys are gonna let me have it, I'm sure. But so far I think I'm okay. Uh I really don't want to write this up this high because I'm gonna run into it. But if I move over, maybe I'll be okay. So C9 flat five, super simple. C9 flat five. So we got our C9. Oops, C9, C9. And let's see, we got our C9, C, E, G, B flat is going to make it dominant, which it naturally is. You can automatically assume this is going to say dominant in here. You put your seventh because it has the nine there. Uh, we have our dominant there, and we have our nine on top, which is the D, and then we make our flat five. That's it. That's it right there. 
Uh, and then you got a B. Let's see what we can do with this one. B set. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I completely wanted to do something for you guys, and then I completely forgot to do it. Um, so here we have C9 flat 5 over E slash E. So the E, all that means, all this means, if you guys remember from the previous videos, all this means is we're throwing E as our lowest pitch. E is our, going to be our bottom note. So here is our chord. Here is a note. This is a chord. This is a chord. This is a note. Okay? So all we have to do is throw E on the bottom. What you can do, if you really, really want to, is get rid of this E. Or you can keep it in there, because why not? Um, people argue that maybe having too many medians, the too many thirds, are is uh, kind of muddy sounding, but do what you want. If you want to erase it, and then you can move the C up, or whatever you want to do, you can move your chord around, much like we did with this one. Or you can just simply take the easy road and put an E down here, and that's your chord right there. So we have... C9 flat 5 over E, or slash E, okay? Uh, now we got this one, same thing, B, B dominant 7 over F sharp. So super easy, all you have to do is, I almost used that as the wrong note. All you have to do is write your 7, B, yes, D, F, A. We got our major chord here. We have our minor 7th on top, that makes it a dominant 7. And all we have to do is put that F sharp on the bottom. All we have to do is put that F sharp on the bottom, so you could do that. Uh, if you were playing uh, an instrument uh, and you're not playing bass, you're not responsible for the bottom note, don't even worry about this. Don't even worry about it. Uh, leave that to your bassist. Leave that to your, your double bassist or your cellist or your tuba player or even a uh, play, piano player. Um, if you're making chords on a guitar or something and you're not responsible for the bottom note, this is not for you. This is not for you. Um, if you're a one-man band or if you are playing with a bass and you are using or you are responsible for the bass, then that is all you, so be very careful. Um, what you could do here, and I'm going to get a little sidetracked here, but let's see. You got B, so this is C, E, G, B. You put a B up here, like that. You erase this B, and then you got kind of a nicer cluster chord here. Um, and you got your uh, D there. You could throw the D up here. Uh, I guess I could do it this way. I know this is a little little funky looking, but you got this going. And then you could erase this as well. So now you got your F sharp surrounded by all this stuff. And I believe that's correct. This is G, A, there you go, there's your, there's your seven, right? And then you got B and then D sharp, F sharp. Yeah, that works. So you got your little triad there and you got your chord here, which sounds a little bit nicer. It's a little bit uh, less muddy than doubling your, your uh, F sharp there. So you can get away with that by getting rid of all this stuff and just move it away. Move it away, make cluster chords, make beautiful things that sound like, uh, like this. So that's what A, A, B, and C, and D sharp. And then put your F sharp on the bottom. Right, you can make it work. Um, exactly like that. I'll go ahead and play all these if I if I can at the end. Uh, we got F sharp, sharp 9. F sharp, sharp 9. So you got F sharp. This is dominant 7 because it's not said otherwise. F sharp, dominant 7. So we take our F sharp, which is here. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and E natural. E natural gives us our dominant 7. And then you take your 9, which in the key of F sharp is going to be G sharp normally, but then we have to sharp it. So our sharp plus a sharp equals a double sharp. I'll give you the little dots on the end just for fun because it's our last one. And then that would be your chord. And we have a slash. Now, you kind of have a, you don't have to have a slash here, but every single thing, technically everything has a slash, has a slash. Like this is actually F sharp, sharp 9 over F sharp. But this is so redundant. You already know it's the root, right? So you might as well just ignore this. All of these, all of these, all of these do this. Uh, you could say, you could say this is G flat flat nine over G flat, right? It's the same thing. It's kind of like how every number in the world is like if you have the number three, technically it's three over one, but you don't need this because it doesn't really change anything. You're just better off with three, right? Same thing, same thing. It reduces down. If you have something different like this, if you have something different like this, you need that. You need that bit. If you put a two on the bottom, you need that. But three over one, you can, it just equals three. It just equals three. F sharp over F sharp. It's just F sharp. Don't worry about it. Don't put too much. Uh, you don't. You, you know. <laughs> when does when does it get silly enough, right? We want the F sharp on the bottom, right? You know, like you could you could go crazy, but you don't need to. You don't need to. Don't worry about it. Um, I know that was cut off by my my camera there, and I think I might have confused some of you, but hopefully you can see what I'm going with that. You don't need to. You don't need to do extra stuff. Okay, so let's see if we can play all these. I might go slow here, so I make sure I play them correctly. A a major seven. Uh, we got C sharp minor nine. Uh, oh my god! And then a B and then a D sharp. 
Beautiful. If you like the other version, isn't that pretty? Minor nines are gorgeous. It doesn't matter if it's C sharp. doesn't matter your root. Just minor nines. Man, I could listen to them all day. Uh, you got B, D sharp, E, and G sharp. Looks sounds like this, I think. Hopefully I'm doing this correctly. Yeah, that sounds, <laughs> sounds right. <laughs> okay, we got F, F minor 7, flat 5. That's the note that makes it really weird, because that's your dissonant note. That's your tritone right between there. F minor 7. A little bit nicer, but F minor 7, flat 5. Right there. Okay, G flat, flat 9. Here we go. This is going to be a trip, and I might run out of keyboard. Um, but we got G flat, B flat, D flat, F flat, which is E, and harmonic to E. And we got A double flat, which is going to give us that G. It works. It works. It's there. I promise. Okay, we got G sharp. We got G sharp seven. G sharp. B sharp, which is C, uh, equivalent to C, if you will. Uh, D sharp and F sharp. Good old dominant chord. We got B flat sharp nine. That's our B flat. Uh, I might run out of keyboard. Maybe not. We got probably. I think I'm gonna run out of keyboard. Uh, I might have to play this a little bit differently. Uh, but we got B flat D F. A flat and C sharp, which I can't hit, but I'll put it in the middle. There you go. Cool. Yeah. Uh, E9, we got E, G sharp, B, D. Oops, that's not B. E, G sharp, B. There we go. And a D sharp. Where did I go off? F sharp. E, G sharp, B, D, F sharp. <clears throat> e dominant 9. E9. Why does that look funny? Okay. A flat major sharp nine. A flat. Oops, that's not A flat. A flat. C, E flat, G, and B. There's your e, A flat major. And then you add the sharp nine. Here's your normal nine. And there's the sharp nine. Yeah. Uh, we got D sharp flat, uh, D sharp minor nine flat five. There's your D sharp. This is gonna take me a minute here. D sharp, here's your F sharp. I'm sorry, D sharp, that was D flat. D sharp, F sharp. We need our A, <laughs> we need our C sharp. Ne never do this, guys. And then you got an E sharp. Again, if you can do the silly, if you can do the crazy, then you can do anything. You can do anything. So if you can find in that the logic to make D sharp minor nine flat five and play it accurately, then you're doing the work. You're doing everything. Okay. Uh, we got C9 flat 5. C9 flat 5. We're going to over E. So we're going to put the E on the bottom. And then we're going to put everything else. I'm just going to play C minor 9. Uh, I'm sorry. C, made, C, C9 flat 5. There we go. There's our flat 5. Nope. That's our flat 5. Oh my god, guys. Uh, and then you got our A flat. Never try this at home. Uh, and then G. G flat, there we go. Oh my god. I'm getting caught cross-eyed here. G flat, that is a B flat. Let me get that. G flat. There it is. Yeah, and we need an C, E, G, B, and we need a D on top. Sure. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a little bit easier. We got B7 over F, B7 over F. Uh, we put our F sharp, I'm sorry, we, I'm sorry, B7 over F sharp. We put our F sharp on the bottom. And then we have our A, I think I played this one already, right? There we go, that's a little bit nicer sounding. And then our last one, we got F sharp dominant seven, sharp nine, or F sharp, sharp nine. F sharp, sharp nine, so we got our F sharp. We got a sharp that nine, which is gonna give us a G sharp, G double sharp, sorry, G double sharp. Here's our F sharp, sharp, uh, F sharp nine, and then we sharp that. And there you go, that is it. Oh my God, that was a little tricky. If you made it this far, congratulations. If you got all these correct in your quiz, congratulations, you are well on your way. If anything is confusing, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, if you have a question on about anything, especially a chord, if I messed up, if you want to tell me anything, please comment below. Please tell me anything you want. Uh, and of course, hit that like and subscribe button. That would 
do wonders for me. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy! Happy musicking.